Daniel, I wanted to jump back just uh, real quick. So I work in the film industry and I know, I didn't personally go to film school, but I know a lot of people who have, and to a fault, most of them say that if they had to do it all over again, they wouldn't have gone to film school. And you mentioned that you were a graduate of Full Sail. I know a couple of people who've been to Full Sail and you know, this might not be fair to them, but based on their experiences, they did not have a, a really good time there. They, they just thought it was like Full Sail was happy to take their money and maybe not provide them with many resources or the best coursework or education that they could have gotten. Looking back on it now, you know, I know that you had some internships out of there and now you're in a completely different field. Looking back on it now, if you could do it over again, would you still go to Full Sail? Would you go straight into the work environment that you're in? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's a great question and a really good topic. And so when I was graduating high school, I had good grades. You know, um, I, I was kind of the kind of person who I wasn't really interested by anything taught in school. But, um, you know, I wouldn't work that hard, but, I'd still, you know, I could still get good grades enough to keep my, my parents happy for the most part. So. Um, but then, like, I decided to graduate a semester early from high school because I just wanted to get out of there. I hated it. And, um, you know, I could still get my honors diploma or whatever whatever it was. And um, so I did that. And then I got a – this will date me. I got a job at Circuit City selling TVs while my friends were at, in, in high school. So I was like, eh, I'm making money. You know, you're just sitting there uh, not making any money. So, um, But after doing that for, a, you know, a semester's worth of time, I was like, Ugh, you know, this, you know, obviously isn't the career path. But – um. I was like, you know what? Maybe I will go to school. But I did I didn't like the things I'm interested in, I'm like super interested in, but I don't like like I don't like I didn't want to take all those um general studies classes that normal colleges have you take. Like almost almost all my friends, you know, I'm from Indiana, most of my friends went to Purdue and I could have gone there, had like a freaking awesome time with them, but like I was like I don't there's nothing I want to do there, you know? So I did decide to go to Full Sail because they just, you know, you go there for 12 months straight and then you get out. And I was like, that's good. You just learn what you pretty much need to know or what you want to know. And to me, like, I was, I was like, okay, well, I really want to learn, learn, you know, how to record bands and place microphones and stuff like that. So I was like super into it. And Full Sail is easy to make jokes about. And I, I joke about it all the time. But, you know, if you get a pulse, you can get in. You know, if you can apply for financial aid, they'll take you. So, you know, it's... I feel like a lot of people go to these schools who shouldn't because if it's going to force you to like, if it's going to put you in a financial spot where you're going to have to move back home to a place where you can't, where you'll have a hard time succeeding in your chosen career path, then you probably shouldn't do it. If you're going to be in a spot where you can maybe move to a city like LA, New York, or whatever, you know, wherever you need to be to help you be successful, then maybe it is. But um, it all depends on like what your goal is. Like you can definitely be an audio engineer without any schooling. But I also, you know, I, I have friends who, who do audio engineering as a hobby. And, you know, there's things that I learned that I would never have learned just from YouTube or figuring it out myself. And so I'm like, I'm glad I have that base knowledge. But could I get by without it? Probably. But and then I also think about, like, relationally, the, the people I met at Full Sail, like, I'm still friends with a lot of them to this day. And, you know, I've lived with them after school, like, for years. You know, we have I've lived with different ones. They played in my band. We've done this and that. So it's like, I don't know. Are you paying for relationships at that point instead of like the education? Maybe. So I, I definitely don't regret it because I had, I honestly had a great time. I learned a lot and um, I met some great people, but you know, it's perfectly possible for everyone to have the exact opposite experience that I had. Like I had in the first four months, I had like three roommates because the first one after two months withdrew from school. The second one who moved in after that, he quit school too after, you know, a couple of months. So then I'll, <laughs> so I'll, you know, some people just, it's not for them. And, 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 and now that, you know, when people ask us in like the photography realm, if they should go to school for it, we always say, absolutely not. Definitely not because photography to me is one of those things that you can kind of just pick up on your own. You don't need to know all this like book stuff. You just need to be good at taking photos and you can kind of figure out the rest from there. So it is a tricky subject. And for some people, I think it works well. You know, obviously, if you want to be like a, a chemical engineer, go to school. But, you know, if you want to do something more creative, I would recommend take a year or two and try to see what you can do on your own and start a YouTube channel. Don't don't do a YouTube channel. Make a student film. You know, just just try things out and maybe you can avoid the racket of college. <laughs> Will your kids go to college? Will you send your kids to college? Only if they, I would never make them go to college. Only if they want to. Because my, my, my parents were, I always thought they were really strict uh, growing up, but honestly, they're, 
they were cool about the things that really mattered. So um, when I didn't want to go to school, maybe my mom was freaking out inside, but I wasn't receptive to it. My dad was really cool and I was really appreciative of that. And then when I did want to go to school, they were supportive of that too. So I would never make my kid go to school unless they wanted to. College, that is. Yeah, I love that. We're kind of in the same boat. If they want to go because they want to be like a history professor somewhere, okay, I guess that's your only path, right? As long yeah. as it matches, right? That's kind of my thing. It's like if they know where they want to go and they're they're like super focused on that, and even if they'll change later, I think that's okay. But as long as school is appropriate, then okay, yeah, that's and, fine. And, and some, I think some of the benefits are less educational. You know, like uh, it is like growing as a person in college. Right. It gives you like freedom to do that where, um, you know, it's a little easier to to grow when you're in that like safety net of the educational system. But, um, especially in this day and age, like look at, if you look at my career path, like I was making good money with something completely like my, I'm sure my degree did not help me get a job barely, you know, it's, it's a, an associate's degree in recording arts. Like who cares? I was able to make it just by learning from YouTube and then doing it on my own. 